Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of inferential statistics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the concept of types of data and measurement scales. You can find more videos on statistics, SPSS and R Studio, econometrics and economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's begin with the introduction. Data is classified into various levels and scales of measurement. And the level of measurement determines how data should be summarized and presented. So scales of measurement refer to ways in which variables or numbers are defined and categorized. And it also indicates the type of statistical analysis that can be performed. So whether we are going to perform the uh, parametric test or non-parametric test that actually depends on the nature of the data. This uh, the, the uh, uh, measurement of the data. So whether we have qualitative data or quantitative data, whether we have nominal data, interval data or ratio scale data. So based on the nature of the data, we decide the statistical test. Now, Stephen in 1946 defined these uh, four categories uh, in, in the article named on the theory of scales of measurement. So he defined four different types of scales, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. And these four uh, types of scales include qualitative and quantitative data. So let's begin with the nominal variable. A nominal variable is also known as categorical variable, and it is used to label the variables without any quantitative value or order. This is very important. Without any quantitative value or order. So there is no numerical meaning. And therefore, the data can be placed into categories, but can't be multiplied, divided, added, or subtracted from one another. See this example. Suppose we are measuring level of income. And in level of income, we have three categories. So we assign one to low income group, two to middle income group and three to high income group. A nominal variable with only two categories. See here, a nominal variable with only two categories is known as dichotomous variable. So suppose we have gender and in gender we have only two categories. One is assigned to male and two is assigned to female. Then gender is our dichotomous variable. So here you can see these numbers 1, 2 and 3 have no numerical meaning. So you can assign any number. I can assign 99 to male. I can assign 99 to male and 100 to female. Because there is no numerical meaning uh, of these numbers. Second is ordinal variable. Now, here the order is very important, but the difference between the values is not. So, this is used to express the non-mathematical concepts, just as uh, happiness, satisfaction, pain, movie ratings. So, here these values can be added to or subtracted from. Suppose one company wants to examine the satisfaction of the consumers of its product. So, one is assigned to unhappy, two is assigned to neutral, and three is assigned to happy. So here this order is important. Right? But difference between these two, difference between one and two, difference between these two, and difference between these two have no meaning. Right? Suppose you are, you are choosing one and I am choosing three. So I'm happy with the product. You are unhappy with the product. But what is the difference between this? How much more I am happy than you? That cannot be measured. So difference can't be measured. Third is interval scale data. So interval data is ordinal, but the difference between two values is known. So this type of data shows both the order of the variables and the exact difference between the variables. And it means that difference has some meaning, but we cannot take the ratio of two interval data. 
another important thing in interval scale is zero means we have the variable. So zero has meaning. We have the data points when the value is zero. And the best example is temperature. Here, the difference between a temperature of 40 degrees and 30 degrees is the same as between 50 degrees and 40 degrees. That means difference has meaning. So interval scale possesses all the properties of ordinal data. Now here you see when we have zero degrees Celsius, we have the data point. That means zero has meaning. And last is ratio scale data. Now ratio data has all the properties of interval data, but arbitrary zero has no meaning. That means zero does not exist. We don't have data points uh, uh, when the value is zero. For example, height. So zero height does not exist at all. Right? And therefore, you don't have the data points when height is zero. So height is our ratio scale variable. Similarly, zero weight. So zero weight does not exist and therefore we don't have the data points. But zero temperature is possible and hence it is an interval scale and not the ratio scale data. So data in the ratio scale can be added, subtracted, divided and multiplied. That means you can use all mathematical or logical operations when you have the ratio scale data. So this is the idea of nominal data, uh, ordinal data, interval data and ratio scale data. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.